everyone so this is a full transit mark 7 2.2 front wheel drive um, i'm redoing the chain on this fan um, obviously as you can see i've already taken the uh, the chain cover off um, and so in order to take the chain cover off it's eight mil bolts right round right round the engine and then there's two 10 mil bolts at the very bottom uh, there's an engine housing um, which is attached to the crankcase cover um, and so what you need to do is basically remove um, the engine mounting after supporting the engine so make sure you support the engine from underneath jack it up uh, remove the mounting off the off the cover also I've removed the, the engine mount from this bay here as well so that's uh, you'll need a, a 13 mil socket um, for this area to four bolts 13 mil um, you need a 15 mil spanner which is basically for the three bolts that house the the engine mounting um, and then you're going to need an 8 mil socket for right round uh, the, the casing and then you're going to need a 10 mil socket um, for two bolts on the very bottom um, and on, on the Ford Transit, there's basically a, two arrows. So there's two arrows on the cogs. These arrows have got to point directly at 12 o'clock upwards. And there's a, uh, there's a hole on each cam where you can get two 6mm. You can get one 6mm in either one uh, to keep it locked into position. So I'm going to show you that now. So what I've done is obviously I've put two bolts back into the, the crankcase wheel there into the crank, uh, put a thick screwdriver for it and I'm basically going to turn and rotate the engine until the arrows are pointing upwards and I can lock the two 6mm dr drill bits in. There's actually a hole in the side of the van where you're able to inspect and make sure that both the, wheel, uh, the cams are lined up where you need it to be. So I'm going to show you. See, uh, I've rotated the engine. You can see the arrow on the top of the cam, and you can see the hole on the bottom. That's now ready for um, to put your two uh, six mil drill bits in. Once you've done that, to take the chain off, you need to undo that tensioner there. That will release all the pressure on the chain. There's uh, there's actually um, at the very top. There's uh, I'll, I'll get up top now and show you. Right here, there's a ch there's actually a, a chain guide, which is this one. So again, all eight mil, all eight mil uh, bolts. So obviously eight mil socket. Undo that, undo that. Take the tensioner off. Once you've done that, you get quite a lot of slack in in the chain. And then basically, you undo this guide rail on the right, the guide rail on the left. That one's got no bolts in. This has again the both eight mil bolts. Take all that off and basically you're good to go to either put the new chain on or to set your timing right. So as you can see, I've put, um, I've actually used two 6mm Allen keys. Allen key into the bottom there, Allen key into the bottom there. Uh, and now I'm good to go. Take off obviously this rail, take off the tensioner, um, and then the chain will go really loose. Um, and then basically the chain will come off um, and then it will be ready for the new chain and set the timing again. Okay, so uh, I've taken off the tensioner now uh, and as you can see, what happens is it goes completely loose straight away. So I've now got play. So all I'm gonna do now is take off the, the, uh, the chain guide at the top um, and then yeah, I'm, I'm basically ready to, to put the, the, the new chain on um, or obviously set the timing. Of course, right here, my timing was set up at 10 to 12. Now, most fans, they're all different, so do not go off um, what other people say, 10 to 12, 12 o'clock. You need to find dead center, top dead cent center on, on this crank. So mine, like I said, is 10 to 12, um, but 
there is another way of doing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this chain rail off. I'm going to obviously take the van up and then I'm going to show you how to do that. So as you can see, uh, the chain's now off. I've taken both obviously uh, the sprockets off um, just, just to make it easier uh, to get the chain off. The, obviously the, the chain guide, that's gone as well. Um, and so now I'm going to um, obviously put the, uh, the van in the air um, and I'm going to show you how to lock the, uh, the actual uh, crank sensor into, into place. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm underneath the van at the back of the gearbox here. Right there, that's where the flywheel is. And that silver uh, connection right there, that is obviously the flywheel sensor. As you can see, there's an 8mm bolt on it. So what you need to do is undo the 8mm bolt, the sensor will come out, and then there's a direct hole going straight down which will lock the flywheel into position. Um, and so I'm going to be using um, a 13 mil drill bit to lock it into place. Um, once I've done that, I can obviously put the put, um, put the chain back on. I can tighten everything up, put the crankcase uh, cover back on. Um, I can put the engine mount back on, um, and then obviously I can pull the 13 mil dr drill bit back out. You can either replace the sensor if you want it, or just clean the sensor that's there and put the sensor back in. Make sure whatever you do, uh, you remove uh, the 13 mil drip drill bit out of this place. Uh, once everything's good to go, give the engine two revolutional turns to make sure um, that obviously everything's in sequence, nothing jumps, um, and then basically once you've given it two revolutional turns on the engine, everything's clear, everything seems fine, crank it over and that's how to time uh, your engine up, how to replace the, um, the, the chain, um, and to obviously uh, do any engine work on uh, your van. Um, that's how to do it. All right, cheers.